It's October 22nd, Zone 6B, Sevierville, Tennessee. As most of you know, we use wood chips to cover the ground. We've got sweet potatoes behind us. You can see beautiful growth. That's only about 10 or 12 uh, slips that we started back there and it grew out. We planted four peach trees, small little whips. Three of them didn't make it. But look at this baby. It's less than a year old. We don't have a caliper, but I measured it with the tape. It's about an inch and a half on the bottom here. Let's talk about the power of wood chips coming up next. So what we have here is a Red Haven peach. It started out from a small little whip about the size of uh, your pinky around and in less than one year, it's grown to be about an inch and a half. I don't have a caliper, but it's just, it's actually bigger than that. Closer to an inch and three quarters, about uh, six, eight inches off the ground. Phenomenal. Wood chips. The tree grows, puts down a tap root, brings all these nutrients up. It grows the twigs, branches, leaves. Those fall to the ground. They decompose and feed the soil for the next season. It's what nature does. So we take wood chips. All we simply did, we put five low truckloads in this area here. It's a fairly large area. We got three apple trees we planted in the background. As I mentioned, we planted four peach trees. Three of them didn't make it from these small bare root whips. But you can see the phenomenal growth of this tree in less than a year. The wood chips keep moisture in the ground. We don't water. We don't fertilize any additional. It's just the wood chip nutrients and the, the moisture that they'll hold in. Well, during the winter, we'll cut prune this back, form it up. It's a little bit lopsided right now. We had a lot more growth on one side of the tree than the other. But you can just see how healthy and how happy it is Leaves are nice and green, lots of growth on the tree. Let's take a look around the garden and we'll show you some other areas of the wood chips and how quickly they broke down and we're going to give you some tips. I'm directly on the other side of that sweet potato patch. You can see the apples in the background. Look at this horseradish. It was one piece about this big we planted in the screen in the spring. Power of wood chips. The wonderful thing about wood chips is it works for all different kinds of plant material. Let's take a look at what we have growing here. Mind you, it's October, so some of the things are in the ground for seed, just like these black-eyed peas. We just simply spread the wood chips, put the peas down, the, the beans down, cover them up and walk away. We don't have a well, so we didn't even water them. We just let rain do its thing. Behind that, we have a little bit of okra. On the trellises back there, we have lima beans. Behind that you can see some more okra and we have some peppers back there. Look at these nasturtium. They just love the moisture that the wood chips hold in. Let's take a look at these wood chips. These wood chips, here's the process. We just put the wood chips on the ground. We did nothing else. We didn't fertilize. We didn't add any compost because we have a large area here. We have almost an acre covered. So we just put the wood chips on the ground. You can see the top layer of the wood chips is dry. As you start digging down, you see moisture. It hasn't rained here for a week. We haven't watered this at all. You dig down even further, you start to see the wood chips having turned to soil. And you dig down even further. This is, these chips have been down for about a year. get down even further and you can see our clay soil orange clay in Tennessee look how easy it is to pull weeds out here's some crabgrass growing right here give a little yank comes right out devil's weed we call this horse nettle got to get down underneath those thorns comes right out. 
Very easy process. Again, crabgrass. The weeds come right out. It's a beautiful thing. The wood chips add the nutrients. They break down. If you put a little bit of fertilizer on there, some nitrogen, it'll even help the plants grow a little faster. We happen to use legumes like uh, these black eyed peas as a first crop. We like to put the wood chips down, put a legume in, and let the, the nitrogen fixing ability add some nitrogen to the soil. Let's look at our raw wood chips. Sometimes you have to be creative in, in finding ways to get your wood chips. There's websites like Chip Drop and Chipperoo. If you live in an urban area, a lot of times uh, you, you have many tree services around that you'll be able to get your wood chips from, so you can call around and call the tree services. We live in a, a very uh, remote area, about 8 to 10 miles out of town here in Sevierville. So what we did is we called the county electric division. They have to trim trees around all the power lines and so forth. And we just have them dump the wood chips here. So they pull in and, and these wood chips you can see are a lot of them are from spring. So there's six months old or so. But they're just regular raw wood chips. I mean there's nothing special here. And they start decomposing a little bit as they're sitting here, which makes it nice. We have obviously more wood chips than we can go through because we don't have a tractor here. I move them with a wheelbarrow by hand. And now that we're in October, as we're taking the plant material down, we're going to put another layer of wood chips to be prepared for the spring. Let's go take a look at a compost pile that we have. Another thing that we, we started doing is making our own compost instead of just using the raw wood chips. We started covering the ground here about a year and a half. This is our second growing season, so almost two years ago. And because we have such a large area, it wasn't too affordable to use compost. But if you have that available for you, to you, it's good to put compost down. You could even put cardboard down to kill your grass or weeds or whatever, green materials there. And then put a layer of compost down for some additional nutrients and then put your wood chips on top of it. But since we didn't have compost available to us, or it wasn't affordable rather, we just, we've been working on making our own compost. And it was about uh, seven months ago we got some chickens. We got nine chickens. So we're using that as a nitrogen element to go into the wood chips. But you can see <coughs> it doesn't take very long. I mean this pile is less than a year old. With some chicken manure, I can feel the warmth off of it. You can see how beautiful this material is becoming. And in the following spring next year, we're going to use this compost in our planting beds um, to go ahead and... Mmm, smells just like dirt. We're going to use that compost while we're planting out our transplants and enhance our beds. This year, we're because we're on a uh, hillside, we're going to put some bed borders under a lot of heavy rain, those wood chips will happen to try to slide down the hill a little bit and the water will wash them. So we're going to put some bed borders with some logs and things that we've taken out of our tree stand. That'll be real neat. So stay tuned and, and watch our videos to see how that progresses as well. And you can see behind us, we've got different compost piles. As we're pulling the green material off, we make a pile of green and add some, some wood chips into that as the carbon material. So we've got various processes occurring here, green material compost, chicken manure compost, and we're going to be adding our chicken, uh, we're going to be moving our chicken pen up onto the hillside, and we're going to be using a deep litter method using the wood chips in the chicken uh, house and in the chicken run, and they'll do some composting for us naturally. So give it a thought. Wood chips, a great way to add nutrients to your garden, cover the soil, Keep that moisture in. Use what God has given us with these trees. You can see a big tree stand in the background. Nobody fertilizes or waters that. That's what nature intended. Stay tuned. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, come grow with us.